All right, welcome to the garage, everybody. So today we have a fun project. We're going to be building a press brake, similar to this press brake from Swag Off-Road. Now this is offered for $239, but today we're going to be building a press brake with this material right here for under $30. Let's get to work. Let's have a quick look at our materials list. So here's the receipt that I got from my local metal fabrication shop here in Florida. As you can see, the total for all this material is $26.63. If that'll focus. And what we have here is about 44 total inches of one inch angle, which is 3 16 inch thick. This is my quarter inch thick base plate. This is a five inch wide by 21 inches long. This is what they had. I would have preferred 22 inches long. Now this is actually going to be the brake bar. This is 3 eighths inch thick. This is 3 eighths, 3 inches from top to bottom and also 22 inches long. Now we have the 3 eighths inch rod. We have two pieces of 6 inch long material pieces. And over here we have just some tube which will recess through this rod. And we will be building this bending brake to work with our 20 ton shop press from Harbor Freight, which has an inner dimension of 22 inches from that beam to that beam. Okay, this is a quick rundown of how we're gonna build this. So like I mentioned, this is the base plate. This is gonna give us our 90 degree angle to press through. So these one inch angle pieces are gonna meet in the center. We're going to drill holes and slug these through that quarter inch plate. which will be followed by the actual edge itself. We're gonna weld ends on either side. So this will go down through the press, and press that fitting just like that. All right, so first step is getting these holes drilled so we can depress these 3 8 inch rod pieces in. My metal cleaned up, we're ready to start welding. You see, this is going to press in here and here. So, we're going to get these squared up, and then we're going to plug weld them from underneath and tack them from the side as well. Alright, now to assemble our lower angle, we're going to run our press. It's important to get these perfectly centered. And luckily, this spacer gives me the perfect spacing. Okay, lastly, we need to clamp this down for welding, so I'm just going to use my actual brake that I'm going to use with the top pressure plate and with three spring clamps, and we'll be ready to weld.
All right, now for the brake blade itself. You can see this is going to come right down in here. Make that 45. The tube end on either side is going to capture that and let it go up and down. So the next thing we need to do is work on cutting this 45 degree into the base of this material. All right, here's a quick look at how that turned out. All right, now we can set up our blade for the brake for final welding. Just want to get this squared up, and we're going to run welds up either side, front and back. I got this thing all put together and I got these springs from Ace Hardware. They work, but they're a little weak. You can see the operation of it though. It does do what I ask it to. Okay, while we're at it, I found this piece of two inch tube. I just notched the bottom half to give me some more area to grab this with. And we're gonna weld this in here just to capture the press and keep this more secure to the machine. All right, so I decided to upgrade to these springs. They're much more sturdy and they hold the weight of the actual press bar. And in case you're wondering, these are the springs and that's the part number I used. I'll also leave that in the description. You can see, much more supportive. All right, so we're gonna test and see how this thing works. We're gonna start out with this piece of eighth inch thick by two inch piece of steel. We're just gonna put a 90 in it and see how it goes. Alright, so here's the bend it made. You can see if you overlook the top bend I've made previously, it bent this just past 90. Now let's move up to a piece of 3 16th. Alright, so this is 3 16th by 1. We're going to try and put a 90 in this as well. Here's a look at the profile of the bend, and again, I think we got this one just over 90 degrees as well. So, yep, pretty good bend profile. All right, so here it is all finished up. And for just under $30, you can build yourself one of these press brakes as well. So thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time when I convert this into a finger brake. See you then. In all honesty, I built this press brake just to build this portable bandsaw table I have shown here. Worked out perfect.